Welcome to Stand Up for the USA, the show that celebrates our American liberty and honors the men and women that sacrifice themselves for freedom, all from an American artist's perspective. I'm Craig Singleton, an American artist and your host. Welcome to the show. Today is Father's Day, 2022. It's a very special day indeed. First, I would like to say thank you to all our fathers and their fathers that came before them. Thank you for everything you've done to help build the greatest nation on earth. Without our fathers and their sacrifices, the United States of America would not be here today, and we would not be living in the most free and prosperous nation on earth. But in the years leading up to the shutdowns, I began to see more and more of the attacks on our liberties and our freedoms from people right here in our country. Attacks by people who were supposed to be representing us as American citizens. It was then that I realized how much I loved my country and I loved my American freedom. And so much of that love was because of my fathers and what they taught me. So I decided I wanted to honor those men and women that sacrificed themselves for the freedoms we enjoy today. I found myself considering what I could possibly do in my life to help save our country. Like most people, I felt rather hopeless in that endeavor. What could I possibly do? I was a musician, a playwright, and a director. I've never been a politician. I didn't even know any politicians, and I didn't really care to meet them either. I did pay some attention to their policies, which often made no sense to me. Policies that didn't address my issues as a working musician. Like most Americans, I was busy working to make an honest living. Searching for that next performance and preparing for the next show was my main concern. But then I remembered my father's words and the strength that they exhibited when they spoke about our great history. I remembered the time spent at Homestead Air Force Base, where my fathers were stationed during my childhood. I remember how they helped me to become a man, an American, a Christian, and a father. And I remembered the many fathers that helped me become a performing artist over my career. Like my fathers, I learned that music was always honest. Because music always rewards hard work and never deceives or gives false praise for poor performance. You give from music what you put into it, nothing more and nothing less. I learned that music was one of my greatest teachers, and life was very much like music. Now, when I say music, I'm talking about music we create with our bodies, music we sing with our voice or play with an instrument. Not sound collages or rhyming words created with computers and software programs. In fact, real music can teach us the most important lessons most needed in life. So what have I learned from music that can help answer my question now? What has my work in theater and dance taught me that I can use? How can my work as a director, a conductor and producer serve me now? What can I do to help save my country? It dawned on me that for many years I had considered an interesting reality in my life. That in my career as an artist, I have learned that I am part of my society. I must be connected with my audience. And yet I spend most of my time studying my society from a perspective that seems somehow outside or separate from it. And that perception finds its way into my art. It acts as a mirror reflecting back what I see. In other words, I've realized that as an artist, it's my inspiration to reflect in my work what I see in the world around me. I had always loved history in school and studied it extensively as I wrote my plays for my theater company. Through that study, I was learning what my fathers were so inspired by when they spoke about our country and our history. You see, the women in my family were Democrats, so I was raised up in the ideals that someone owed me something. That somehow, even though no one could explain it, businessmen were evil and were our enemies. Now, this made no sense to me since many people in my family were hardworking farmers and carpenters. Weren't they businessmen? 
not really according to the Democrats in my family. When I ask, what did businessmen do? They never answered the question. It was something hushed and not to be spoken of, as if it were criminal or, or secret. But I, too, had the entrepreneurial bug in me like those men in my family. When the shutdowns came crushing into our lives, like so many people, I had no way to earn a living. The venues for performing music and theater were closed. The schools were closed, so I couldn't teach, and I couldn't produce my children's theater company due to the school shutdowns. Even my private music students quit due to the fear and the shutdowns. It was becoming more evident every day that the shutdowns were being used to further steal our liberties. This rebellious young teenage musician had grown up to be a man and an American patriot. And wow, I didn't see that one coming. And it did take some time getting used to the idea. But I had been emancipated from the Democratic Party, and I was speaking up. Many people around me were in shock that I was an outspoken patriot. Many people that I thought were my friends for many years began to ridicule me for expressing those ideas. People that I thought were open-minded called me crazy. They said I was a member of an evil cult. <laughs> Some even betrayed me in business by publicly sharing confidential information online, such as my original compositions before they were published. They said, quote, that I had gone over to the dark side and they could never work with me again. They blocked me on any social media, as I call it, and eventually refused to speak with me. I was experiencing, in a very small way, the resistance that our fathers so fearlessly faced so many times when they defended our nation from the enemies of liberty. These people that I thought were my friends once were not open-minded or liberal. They had no understanding of the freedom they possessed and no respect for the men and women that earned it. It had become very clear to me that as a man and an artist, I must stand up and take action to do what it is that only I can do. And as an American patriot, it is my duty to fight for our liberties as guaranteed by our Constitution, regardless of the resistance. That is what my fathers taught me. And that's why I founded this podcast and wrote my original song, Stand Up for the USA. The song is an American anthem, and like this podcast, it is a celebration of our American liberty. On this day... I thank you, Father, for your blessings, and I understand your sacrifices. Happy Father's Day to everyone out there. We'll be right back. Thanks for being with us for our 2022 Father's Day special of Stand Up for the USA. Join us daily and we'll get to the truth about what's going on in our country. We'll honor our American patriots with our story of the day, both past and present. So if you love your freedom as much as we do, please take just a few minutes and join us for the show that stands up for the USA. 